What's good sports gamers and today I'll be going over a bunch of tips you should know to help improve your game in NBA 2K22 on current and last gen consoles. Alright, let's get it. One of the most necessary things to becoming a good off ball but mainly on ball defender is knowing the potential space your opponent has and being able to cut off angles to make life difficult for them. Instead of moving to where they are, anticipate where they're going. An easy example being on fast breaks. Guys like to dribble up the sideline and drive baseline because it's away from all the defenders. And if your defender is playing above the three point line, he can easily drive by you. Unless you're anticipating the drive and are not able to cut them off and force up a tougher shot. A quick and easy way to create plenty of space for yourself while on the fast break is calling for an ISO right after a missed basket. And wherever you are on the court, you will have the lane cleared for you briefly to work your magic. This is nearly unfair if you have a Giannis LeBron type player you're dribbling up the court with. When playing on ball or in the corner somewhere and your opponent has created an angle to the hoop and is about to make something happen, it's important for you to quickly switch on to the guy closest to the rim to get your hands up or block if the situation calls for it to avoid your opponent getting an easy foul call. Because if you don't click on the computer player's foul ball tendency rating will kick in and majority of them have high ratings so they're going to foul the ball handler more often than not. Clicking on you can mostly control how often that player will foul in a situation. When you're playing against a human opponent who likes to sit in the paint or in the corner, leaving you to be defended by the computer, something like momentum crossovers are a good way to beat computer defenders off the dribble. After making sure you have icon lead passing on in your controller settings, you're going to want to utilize this heavily if you haven't already. This is the most powerful way to pass in 2K and has been for a while, as it can create openings in a defense out of nowhere protect the ball from defenders and push players into better position for shot attempts. Now you can attempt this by bringing up your icons with the right bumper, then tell the game where you want to aim the pass with your left stick while hitting the player your targeting's icon and watch magic happen on the fly. One of the most annoying things that happens on defense in 2K besides guys helping when they shouldn't is when your opponent purposely runs into one of your off ball defenders thus leaving their guy wide open for a three. So you really have to recognize when these situations are about to happen and react quickly enough to slide over to the guy who's about to come open. And you will then be surprised how often you come up with easy steals just because your opponent just assumed they're open because they usually are. If you're playing against an opponent that likes to full court press, did you know you can actually call for a screen in the backcourt and they will set up for you to help break yourself free from the pressure. After missing a shot, you can do yourself a lot of favors by quickly switching to the guy closest to the basket, which will be the first guy back on defense, by bringing up your icons with R1 or RB and then quickly tapping L1 or LB on your controller to switch to the guy closest to the basket to help defend against anybody that quickly breaks free down the court. If you end up in a matchup you don't want during the possession, whether it's off ball or on ball, if you hold the A or X button if you're on PlayStation, the game will switch your assignment with the teammate that is closest to you. Something you probably never think about doing, and for good reason, is pulling off a well-timed Euro step and off the catch or dribble to throw off the timing of your opponent defending the paint. Now this is something we all come across, but try your best to avoid it and this is the struggle post-ups with somebody you should not be posting up with. Just because you're close with a big man does not always mean it's post-up time. Just save your players the exercise of getting back on defense when you miss by just simply passing it back out to the three-point area. Have you ever played somebody who seems to be all over the court causing mayhem? Well, you have to know how to do this at least to some degree, and that starts with being comfortable switching on to other defenders quickly. What you do by hitting RB or R2 in your controller and then their icon to switch to a specific player, or hitting X or A to switch to the closest player to the ball. Or like I mentioned earlier, after hitting R1 or RB, hit L1 or LB on your controller to switch to the guy closest to the hoop. Being comfortable continually switching can help you close off lanes and create turnovers for yourself that increases your chance of winning. 
Now there are two ways to manually call for a double team in NBA 2K22. If you hold L1 and LB on your controller, the game will have the guy closest to your defender come over to help double team the guy with the ball. Now if you tap L1 and LB, you can then select who you want to come over to help double team the ball handler, allowing you to get a bit more creative on the defensive side of the ball. In your controller settings, as long as you have skip pass enabled, you're going to want to utilize this to help get passes to your players quickly who are in the same area as a player closer to the ball. So by holding the A or X button if you're on PlayStation, with skip pass enabled it will target the player furthest away, essentially skipping the closest guy 2K will pass it to as you tap the pass button, and avoiding the potential precious second wasted by bringing up the icons and then pass them. If you're in an unwanted matchup that quickly needs to be addressed, you can hold the middle button on your controller or hold square or X to have your player intentionally foul the ball handler to stop the possession. Instead of going into the pause menu, you can switch individual matchups permanently by tapping L1 or LB on your controller and then hit the icon of the player you want to switch and then select the player you want to switch him on to and it will take effect during the next possession. Now if you just inbounded the ball and your opponent tried to go for a steal and they're now behind you, to keep the defender on your back, you simply hold the left trigger on your controller while moving and doing this can create even more space for you driving if timed right. When you call for a pick and roll, you can make it difficult for the on ball defender to commit early by performing any type of escape dribble away from the screen to take advantage of the defender should they commit early. And if they don't, you're just giving yourself more room to run around it. Now new this year on next gen is the aggressive skill dunk, which by holding the right trigger and holding down on the right stick, you will attempt to pull off a power contact dunk. And to complete it, you must let go of the right stick inside the green to complete it, to really embarrass your opponents. Next up, I don't know if you noticed, but you can generate steal opportunities in the post when your opponent starts to attack the basket by simply hitting X or square on your controller. Whether it's from a regular mismatch or a normal matchup, hitting the steal button once the defender starts to attack is a good way to create turnovers for yourself. Now it won't always be successful, but you increase your odds of stopping them cold if you're not confident in outright defending their shot. When coming up to court, you want to always be aware of if the paint is open or not, so you're ready to immediately attack when your opponent has nobody there waiting for you. If you go into your offensive settings and down to play selection, you can select up to eight go-to plays for you to quickly switch to in game. Where by default, you will start with basic basketball actions to help you out. In game on next gen, you can bring this up by hitting the left stick and then selecting your given play on either page. And on current gen, you hit your left bumper and then cycle between the two pages to select your favorite play. And lastly, the call plays for individual players. You hit the left bumper on your controller, then on next gen, the player's icon, and with your right trigger, you can cycle through each page of that player's play, where he is the main option. And on current gen, you hit the left bumper first to activate positional play calling. Then hit that player's icon. The better the player, the more pages he will have to cycle through because he will be able to pull off more types of plays. So all right, sports gamers, I hope this video was able to help you out. And if you like the content we provide, make sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K22 content. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. All right, people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching. And be good, y'all.